Well, it's a disturbing trend. Teens posting threats on social media. A scary scenario for families and those working hard to prevent a possible tragedy. 13 Action News anchor Todd Quinones on how more police are monitoring and prosecuting suspects in, in these cases in part two of a special Raising the Bar report. Unfortunately, Sorry, I... myself or friends haven't really taken it seriously. Sisters Allison and Leah admit Valley teens need to be more vigilant. Most of the time people see it more as like a joke, nobody's going to actually do anything. But local law enforcement isn't laughing. There is no such thing as a joke when we're talking about this. People are going to be held accountable through the court system. 13 Action News sat down with the FBI Las Vegas. Special agent in charge Aaron Rouse says law enforcement looks into every single case, whether there's a potential for real violence or a hoax. And in some cases, he says the postings are part of a dangerous trend called swatting. Where they notify law enforcement authorities that there is a critical incident event re requiring a SWAT response. It's meant to attract as many police, fire, and other emergency teams as possible to one location. But Rouse says diverting these crews puts other people who may need help at risk. And to combat online pranks or possible violent acts, the FBI is working with the Valley's Fusion Center, where officers from all jurisdictions collect and analyze data. It's also trying to work with tech companies to monitor questionable communications. Everything we do regarding monitoring or intercept has to have a federal judge say it's okay. It's not like the TV and the movies, all right? There's a quite a process that goes through. Ultimately, the goal is to stop anything before it's even posted. That's why Rouse is helping spread the message, think before you post. The national campaign looks to educate the public that any online threat is a crime. Federal law is not as forgiving as you might think, uh, and it is a big deal. If you're making a threat to do harm to somebody else or to a particular school, especially if it's a mass violence incident, law enforcement is looking, and uh, cases like that have been prosecuted uh, not only in Nevada, but throughout the United States. U.S. Attorney Nicholas Trutanich with the District of Nevada says it is a major problem. In fact, officials have already confiscated six guns from Clark County Schools this year, the latest case involving an 11-year-old. And to stay ahead of the problem, the Department of Justice is holding an early detection and disruption seminar next month calling the best and the brightest from around the country to make sure that we are talking about best practices and lessons learned to ensure that we prevent mass violence instances before they happen. In addition to that, the DOJ just announced that it is awarding more than $85 million in grants to try to improve school security and safety across the country. They've also dedicated resources to the FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force and the Valley's Fusion Center. We plugged that U assistant United States attorney into those law enforcement resources in order to make sure that law enforcement has the ability to rapidly respond and take immediate action when a threat like this comes about. In the end, Trutanich wants anyone thinking of posting something questionable to consider their future and also what is at risk. If you don't think before you post and you post something that is a threat, you could not only uh, lose a potential job later in your life, but you could be end up behind bars. It's a message that at least these teens hear loud and clear. We need to report that. We need to ensure our own safety and everybody else's safety, even if it doesn't involve you. It could happen anywhere to anyone. Todd Quinones, 13 Action News.